All right, guys, I already um, got the stud in this one, the black one. So I had it in the back, I screw all the way in. That's the main stem. And I used the main wire for the inverter, which is this one. I put it in the center, like I just um, explained on the video. So I'm using 1116 to tie this. But well, before doing that, guys, you gotta be be um, sure that this thing is well level plumbed. So look at that dead in. Okay, I can able to tweak this a little bit, and uh, here we go. Want to make everything accurate, straight, you know. And we're gonna tie it up now. That entire thing. Here's the old one. I'm going to replace that. So now we're going to use uh, the ratchet and get it in. This is what you got when you already installed things in place. So tighten up this thing. Make sure that my level is still level. So when a little bit off. Gotta go back. Gotta go back this way and get it all level. All right. Well, it's not going anywhere. It's all tied up. So the main wire, you can see that. Big log. That's a four hot cable coming to the disconnect right here. So it's tied into this. Okay. So this is the one that came from the battery. Okay. From the battery bank. This one here. So I'm going to change that wire as well. But for now, it's going to be an other video. I'm going to just use this down here and utilize this till um, make another video about that. Change this wire because I have one, one um, gauge. And uh, get a washer. And uh, I don't have a lock washer. Right now, but this is what I'm gonna do. So, so I can finish up, I can be on the dark. And uh, tighten up this entire business here. So use number 11, see that? Okay. Um, since you guys wanna see step by step, I'm sorry I can't do live videos anymore because of the um, the network I hate when my videos are all fuzzy they don't look good because you live stream it takes a lot of bandwidth so all right so I had all these things tied up so I'm gonna leave these other ones like the way they are right now till I ready to transition another string of batteries here and get this thing done I and mean, you guys can see the process as i go i don't want to do things behind the scene i want you guys to see i want you guys if you want to learn you can learn something it's fine with me so i know all install not going to be the same everybody have has their own install they have their own dreams they just need a jump start how things are supposed to go but this is what it is and uh, and um live from minnesota JW Solar USA and I'm gonna change this one here and um, it's gonna look pretty and uh, I know you guys gonna like it okay we're taking this other one out that strong anymore anyway 
So So we're going to take the main power out cable out Uh, one thing you gotta be careful because you're dealing with uh, power here, DC, and trust me, guys, it's gonna mess you up. Believe it or not, it's gonna mess you up because it, when you arc, I've seen an arc uh, almost uh, cut a wrench. So that's that's crazy, guys. That's crazy. So you gotta be careful anything you do. With DC power, DC power doesn't mess around at all. I would say DC power is more dangerous. It's really, really dangerous. The way you get uh, zapped is different from an AC. So just be careful when you do your thing. Precaution and be careful. So, I'm doing this so you guys can see if I get zapped, then you're going to be laughing at me. Ho, ho, ho. He gets zapped. Yeah. All right. Stay tuned. I'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, back again. We're getting to get, um, trying to get the other stud in. It's kind of difficult when you have all the uh, things in line. And it's tougher to do that. With a little space that I have here. So, this is what it is. It's going to be a boring video. I hope you guys don't mind. But, it's a learning curve for you guys, a lot of you, other guys that are really interested. So, it's not, uh, when you're trying to learn, anything is useful. If you start to pick and choose, there comes the problem because you're not going to ever learn. Because you just want to be just like the other guys out there right away. Or oh, I can do it the way this other guy uh, does stuff. That's what I'm going to do. Some people are like that. They just copy. They want to copy exactly. They want to ask you for part number. Everything you do, they cop, They have a replica of your system. And it's not going to be the same. The the structure probably going to but whatever that person did or programming. It's not going to be the same. Or whatever. So try to be yourself. And do and do things like I said. Oh God! I knocked out the camera. And try to do things the way um, you want them. You can understand them instead of asking more questions. But it's fine. If you want to copy, people normally copy. They copy. So we are all humans. This is uh, our nature. This is who we are. Feel comfortable with someone else, you just want to have the same system with that person because you've been watching or been following that person for so long and you think uh, you're just comfortable. See what I'm talking about? I'm talking about dealing with space here. See? Out, took this one out. This wire. So, and uh, I'm going to have this wire here. This wire is going to be here. It's just going to be just like a live stream, but it's not live stream. All right, let me be back. I'll get back to you. Finish up this. We're back. So lock wash, washer. Okay. Got a knot. So knot's gonna come in. Trying to put this one first so that I can able to have 
control over this one old thing and doing that is even that mistake i want to grab this wire it's a big positive wire and stick it right in the center okay this is what i want it it's right there so I don't like this wire. I will probably want to pass it here instead of this hole right there. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back again. You kind of struggle here. And uh, why is so thick? So. Wow, it's a battle. And uh, use this guy. So we're gonna push this one down and get this wire all straight. Get this guy all straightened up. Got all these guys off the way and I will be right back okay as you guys seen right there tighten up this bad boy that's the main one delivering power in and out from the inverter and uh can't tell you how many pounds because i didn't use my top wrench and uh that one tightening up this that's the one bring the power from the battery which i have to change later and this is a uh, evening here late time doing this want to make sure that i have power at home Okay, don't get your connection loosened because you're going to be facing a problem with arcing. That's how things started overheating. Okay, double check, triple check, check this negative one. It's tight. And we're going to do one more. Okay, one more. Okay. I think we are done. Look what we just created. All right. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe.